History is being made at the Sri Harmandar Sahib in Amritsar in northern India. This ancient shrine is more widely known as the Golden Temple, the spiritual center of Sikhism, the world's fifth largest religion. Midnight at the Sri Harmandar Sahib, a transformation is taking place. This is the inner sanctum of Sikhism's world leader. For 400 years, this chamber has witnessed a daily ritual of renewal that provides the spiritual centerpiece for the lives of almost 30 million people. Yet very few have ever witnessed the full ritual. This is the first time it has been filmed. After a dry cleaning called Sukhi Seva, a select group of Sikhs begins streaming in. Only baptized or Amritdhari Sikhs are allowed in this precinct. They will perform the Snan Seva. They wash every inch of the sanctum with milk and water to purify it. Then at 3 a.m., the cleaning rituals complete. The stage is reset for the arrival of the Guru, Sikhism's spiritual leader. The Guru's minister, Granthi Man Singh, heads to the official chambers in the nearby Akal Takht building to rouse the Guru. This is the daily prakash, or awakening ceremony, which marks the Guru's first entry into the day. But the Guru is no typical religious leader. Monotheistic Sikh belief centers on the concept of Wahe Guru, also known as Akal Puruk, a supreme being that's timeless, formless, omniscient and omnipresent. The Guru is the Supreme Being's messenger on earth, a position handed down since Sikhism's founding in 1499, when Guru Nanak Dev first began sharing his teachings of history's great religious thought on which Sikhism is built. In 1742, the 10th Guru, Gobind Singh, changed tradition forever. In his final act, Guru Gobind Singh declared that Unlike any other world religion, Sikhism's 11th Guru and highest spiritual authority would not be a human. Instead, the 11th Guru would be a holy book, the Sri Guru Granth Sahib. Every day since, it is the holy book that has announced the Hukumnama, the order of the day, to be followed by Sikhs across the world. Read aloud by the Granthi, the order reaches out beyond the temple's walls and travels across the globe.
ہم سمجھتے ہیں کہ وہ گرو کی آواز ہے کہ آج کا حکم کیا ہے لیکن وہ آؤڈر آف ڈے کیول ڈے نہیں ہے آؤڈر آف لائف ہے ایور سنس شری ہرمندر صاحب دا گولڈن ٹیمپل ہیز پرووائڈ اے اسپرچل فوکس فار فالوورز آف سیکھزم اراؤنڈ دا ورلڈ واہ گرو کا بس نام میرے پاس ہے واہ گرو کو میں مانتی ہوں دیر سم تھنگ کمنگ فرام دا اسکائی اینڈ دس فار ایوری ون دس نتھنگ لائک ہندو مسلم اور سکھ اٹس یونیورسل بٹ ان سائڈ دا گولڈن ٹیمپل ایوری تھنگ اینڈ ایوری ون ریوالوز اراؤنڈ دا ہولی بک the Shri Guru Granth Sahib. Its words percolate through the complex throughout the day, through the voices of Granthis. As millions make the pilgrimage to Amritsar's Golden Temple, behind the scenes, ancient and modern come together to keep the faith alive. Narendra Singh Banarasi comes from an ancient lineage of traditional ragis, whose musical ancestry goes back 300 years. His ancestors sang Gurbani Kirtan, divine hymns in the court of the 10th Guru, Gobind Singh. He sees no contradiction in using the latest technology to sustain the ancient traditions. <laughs> तीन शब्द पढ़ेंगे उन शब्दों को एक एक दफा माइंड में फ्रेश करते हैं तो कोई गलती ना हो इसमें कोई मिस ना हो जाए हमारे से तो इसलिए इसमें सॉफ्टवेयर है उसमें श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहब जी का सारा गुरुवाणी है इट्स ऑलमोस्ट एज इफ सिखिज्म एंटिसिपेटेड टुडेज कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी The Holy Scripture is composed entirely to music. Played almost around the clock here, the hymns, or Gurbani Kirtan, are intended to indulge both soul and senses. The effect induces a physical reaction, leading to a deep spiritual experience. The Sri Harmandar Sahib in northern India must confront a hard, practical reality that comes with the broad appeal of the welcoming Sikh faith. On any given day, between 80,000 and 200,000 visitors descend to the temple for Holy Communion. Langar, or free kitchen, is a concept started in the 1500s by the founder of Sikhism, Guru Nanak Dev. He dismantles social barriers by insisting everyone eat, cook and serve food together, irrespective of caste, creed, gender or religion. Today, Langar provides a striking example of the power of Seva. Then, as the day began, so it ends. It is 10 p.m. Inside the sanctum, it is the holy hour of Sukhasan. The Guru Granth Sahib conveys its final message of the day. Then it's time for the Guru to return to its chamber in the Akal Takht. Devotees collect along the Guru's route, on special occasions spraying rose water and perfume as a mark of respect for the Guru. The holy text is installed in its chambers by the Granthi. But as one day draws to a close, another approaches. The Guru is eternal, and soon the Golden Temple must be ready 
for another day in the Guru's eternal journey. And so the ritual of renewal begins all over once more.